concept. And so it was Bacchus that started them and still uses them. And then uh, Endymion, and especially the Super Cruise, use them. I mean, um, Endymion has enormous tandem flows, like five or six units to them. And, and so does Orpheus. It's, this is a real problem for, uh, for those parades, like a parade like Bacchus, uh, Bacchus, which has many tandem floats, and so all of a sudden, if they're told that, uh, you know, the night before the parade that they can't use tandem floats, they have a real problem. Uh, and uh, I hope there's a little bit of flexibility with this, because it seems like there's other things you can do. Uh, you can make them, you can have guards walking alongside every break in the floats where the tandem part is to be sure that nobody uh, uh, enters that area. And, but to not allow tandem flows is pretty much doing major damage to those parades. Yeah, and we're less than 24 hours until the Bacchus parade, which you said is really the inventor of all of these floats. I mean, is there anything at, you know, at this hour that they could possibly do to make sure that everything rolls tomorrow? I would think that the quickest thing you can do is to figure out a way, and it shouldn't be that hard, to, to get two people, one on each side of the brakes and tandem floats, two essentially security guards who are walking alongside to prevent anybody from entering that area. I mean, you can do that fix overnight, and then in the longer run, if you look at it in the future, maybe you can make laws about having fewer parts to tandem parts, uh, uh, tandem floats that they have right now. But I think in terms of Bacchus tomorrow and Orpheus, you can fix it easily just by having people walk along those floats at, at, at the major uh, points. Supposedly, as it is now, when a float stops, if there are policemen in the area, that the policemen go and stand where the break is uh, as a way of stopping it. But sometimes the float stops in an area where there aren't policemen. And so I think what you need is somebody walking the entire route alongside each of the, uh, the, the breaks and the tandem floats. Now, unfortunately, this has happened two times now in just this carnival season, just this past week. Um, has this been an issue with tandem floats in the past? And why is there, is there any logical explanation for why it might be an issue this season? Because there are more and more tandem floats that is really, really growing. I, I think from a, a crew perspective, it's more of, of an economical way of, of uh, developing floats. It's also a better way to develop a theme uh, in the case of... Um, of um, Endymion, they have their Pontchartrain Beach theme, and so you can use four or five floats to develop a theme, and you can have lights going from one way to the other, and so you can actually do more ar ar artistically. And the thing of the, uh, the, uh, the Captain Eddie's SS Endymion, that's just like a big steamboat, and all it is, it's an easy thing to, as you expand that, to develop another unit to the steamboat, just expand it. And, and so from a crew planning point of view, it's an economical way, and it also gives you some artistic license. But, yeah, the, the reason we hear more about this is because there's just more and more of these floats, and I agree that there needs to be a major discussion uh, about this and how many units we can have. But I'm just saying that for tomorrow night and for Monday, the easy fix is to get guards walking alongside um, those floats at all the breaks.